The Brianna Maitland disappearance is unfortunately a prime example of just how devastating miscommunication and false assumptions can be. Starting on the last day she was seen, there were so many things that occurred that make you wonder, if just one of them hadn't, would everything have turned out differently? Like the Maura Murray case before her, the story of Brianna Maitland is one of a promising, if somewhat troubled, young girl. Seventeen at the time of her disappearance on March 19, 2004, Brianna would spend the day taking a GED test and then going shopping with her mother. It would be during this shopping trip that the first miscommunication would occur. Something caught Brianna's attention outside and she told her mother she would return shortly and left her in the checkout line while she went outside. After her mother completed the purchase, she met Brianna in the parking lot, where Brianna's positive mood had changed to one that was unnerved and aggravated. This is when her mother made the fateful decision not to pry, and decided not to ask Brianna what had just upset her as she drove her home to get ready for her shift at work at the Black Lantern Inn in Montgomery, Vermont. We'll never know if that conversation could have either changed Brianna's fate, or at least led to a speedy resolving of it, as less than eight or nine hours later, Brianna Maitland vanished. After finishing her shift at work at approximately 11.20 p.m. that night, Brianna declined co-workers' offers to hang out and set off driving home to get some sleep for her second job the next day. Early the next afternoon, a Vermont State Police officer was dispatched to the Old Dutchborn House on Route 118, about a mile from the Black Lantern Inn, where Brianna's car was backed into the side of it in a mess. It was at this point that two more miscommunications would destroy any chance Brianna had left to be found alive. First, the trooper made the assumption the car belonged to a drunk driver and simply had it towed away. Next, Brianna's roommate, who noticed Brianna hadn't touched a note she had left for her, assumed she had just left to stay elsewhere and did not notify anyone. Because of these two actions, nobody would even be aware Brianna was missing until four days later, on Tuesday, when her mother's inability to reach her daughter led to her filing a missing persons report. But while Brianna would remain missing, this case was far from over. In part two, we'll take a look at some of the suspects and sightings related to the Brianna Maitland case. If you have any information on the disappearance of Brianna Maitland, please contact the Vermont State Police at 802-524-5993. Thank you.